Big Flight 4.4 release candidates have dropped. Let's check out what's new. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. As always, there's a whole bunch of new things cooked up in the latest version of Beta Flight. In this video, I'm going to go through the 10 things that I think will be most interested to the community. In addition, I'm going to drop a link for an extended video that goes through all the flight performance, OSD, and usability improvements that are in the new release. So the first thing I think people are going to enjoy is the new HD or high definition canvas mode that's available for all our HD systems out there now. I'm talking DJI V1 and V2, HD0, Walk Snail, and the new DJI O2 goggles. Historically, as you see here, when even with the HD goggles, you still had pretty big fonts. Well, with the new HD canvas, it makes that more appropriately sized. I have an entire video on how to get this ready and set up, and I'll drop a link down to that in the video description as well. Next up is the preset star system. So if I grab a preset, go ahead and pick that and then apply that right here. The next time I come into the presets, it will be starred. The other thing you can do is just directly manually star these. Now it's not specifically starred per flight controller. It's basically starring the presets that you have used on any of your quads. But after using this for a little bit, what it ends up doing is putting all your common presets that you use up at the top of the list here. And then they're easy accessible at your fingertips. It's pretty nice. Next, we have VTX MSP support. So this is gonna be a real feature benefit to those who use HD0 or folks that are using the open VTX hardware. This will enable Betaflight to communicate uh, uses an MSP protocol with those hardwares, uh, which is basically lets it transfer any information or data that they really want to at that point. And just that integration between Betaflight and that hardware will just get better and better. This one's pretty cool. You're now able to name your rate and PID profile. So you can see here, I have my PID profile one selected and I can apply a name to that. So maybe you have different tunes for different times of the year, or maybe you have different tunes for different battery sizes that you might be cooking up to the specific quad, where you can name those tunes and your rate profile. Notice you only have eight characters as of right now. And then in the OSD, you can enable PID name and rate name, so you can just see those in the OSD. And of course now with the ability to use full OSD with analog or digital, ah, very nice. Of course, we have the GPS improvements. I will drop a link down to a video where I showed that and reviewed that, how Betaflight can now come in and auto land in failsafe or GPS return to home. It doesn't just come in like a controlled, semi-controlled crash anymore. It actually comes down, lands, and touches. Uh, there's other improvements as well with the barometer and how that's working. Again, I'll drop a link down to that extended video if you want to check that out. One of the items in regard to flight performance improvements is anti-gravity that bit of software has been analyzed even further by Chris Thompson and optimized even more. You can see right here, this is the default anti-gravity of eight. So that's probably not what you're used to seeing. I think the default before was 3.5. So definitely do not bring your old anti-gravity gains forward from Betaflight, whatever, 4.2, 4.3, whatever, into 4.4. I'm going to be doing a future video in regard to the differences between 4.3 and 4.4 specifically for anti-gravity. So if that's something that might be interested to you, why don't you go down and hit that little subscribe button and bell so you don't miss it. Another good thing is Express LRS 3.0 integration. This is going to be important for anybody running Express LRS 3.0, especially if you have some of those SBI based Express LRS receivers on your whoops and you're running 3.0 on other things and you want to have your whoops running 3.0, well, Betaflight has to have that integration of the latest version of Express LRS built into the code base, which it does in 4.4. That results in cool things like this, where now if you plug in your flight controller and that powers your Express LRS 3.0 receiver, it find that connects to your Wi-Fi. The configurator will auto detect that and you can connect directly over Wi-Fi to your flight controller. No more USB cables required. In addition to that, cool things like this, where your binding phrase is integrated right into the Betaflight configurator now, and you can type in and set this right from here. So if I put in UAV tech, for example, of course, I'm not gonna use that binding phrase, but if I put that in in my binding phrase for my integrated SPI receiver, which is in my whoop here, hit save and reboot, then if I have that same binding phrase in my transmitter, they're gonna connect. Next up, the cloud build system. This is gonna really future-proof those F4 and F7 boards out there so that they'll just have a longer lifespan. With the cloud build system, it's going to be able to, once Betaflight gets to the size where it's no longer gonna fit on F4 and F7s, this is gonna extend the life. And just by the way it is now, it doesn't load 
every last thing that Betaflight has available. So just in that, it's, you know, if you load during the cloud build system now, which most of the stuff you probably don't need, you know, most people don't need to load all these receiver protocols. They just need one. So just by that fault alone, uh, it's saving space already. Not that you necessarily need it because it probably all still builds, but as more and more features get added to the firmware, which it seems like there are some plans to increase the GPS functionality within Betaflight, this will pay dividends. I have an entire video on how to load up Betaflight 4.4 and how to use the cloud build system. Again, I will link that down in the video description. So these next two are flight performance improvements related to the accelerometer using angle mode or horizon mode. Obviously that can be especially important to people new getting into the hobby and trying to get grips on how to fly using angle mode. And also those whoop pilots out there that are using angle mode. These two items are still cooking, but you can see right here, they are tagged to be in 4.4. So fingers crossed, hopefully they get in. This first one is by Chris Rosser. And it has to deal with how angle mode deals with yaw inputs and the you know mixing in roll. And the best way to describe this is a video that Chris Thompson did checking out this new feature by Chris Rosser. So check this out. Now I'm going to pitch forward and yaw. The yaw will spin the quad on the axis and convert pitch to roll. It takes time for the level P controller to restore the normal pitch angle. So check this out. This is Chris Mosser's two PRs. Uh, what we've got is an earth referenced your pitch roll system. Pretty cool, right? So yeah, fingers crossed. And last but not least, this one's by Alexei Stankovich. This has to deal with that annoying thing when you have a whoop and maybe you're in angle mode and you crash and it's on the ground and you try to recover and take back off and it's kind of leaning to the side but not input the basically the accelerometer the gyro gets all messed up this pr is in an effort to fix that and remedy that situation without having to disarm wait a while and then rearm and then go from there so again fingers crossed i don't have a fancy video on that one but if you've done some whoop piloting in angle mode you know what i'm talking about so those are our 10. again bunch of links down to the videos in the description if you're looking for more of the features we only covered maybe like not even half of them uh, check out that extended video videos on how to download the latest configure and flash up to betaflight 4.4 if you're interested in that or also the hd or gps features again all down in the links below thanks everybody i hope this helps